What's up today, my fellow Madden soldiers? So what I'm gonna be doing right now is showing you guys the best and smartest way to build an all Madden team. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get right into it. So if you guys are tuning in after the all Madden 2 is released, I'm actually doing it a day before because I'm starting to see a little trend here when it comes to the all Madden team. And so I wanna show you guys, I know some of you guys out there are gonna be like, okay, I wanna build an all Madden team. I don't got a lot of coins. So what's the best way to go about building one? And what's like the, the best and smartest this way so because i'm gonna do the same thing too i got eight million coins i could basically buy probably the whole whole madden new uh team and everything else right or close to it at least but i'm not gonna do that i'm gonna make sure that i actually do it smartly and i'm gonna take you guys on a journey with me right um i'm gonna be honest with you i'm looking at the all madden team i'm not really tripping on it like that like i'm gonna be totally honest with you but i know a lot of you guys there's a lot of like you know um hype around it so i want to make sure that i show you guys the best and effective way to do it because this morning and i'm pretty sure you guys know that these all madden players these 89s went up to like uh 250 to 300k it was ridiculous when i seen that i was like they barely even mentioned that they're going to use some of these players in the set or the all madden kims and i clicked on i like logged in real quick just to see the prices and it skyrocketed ridiculously and they were all bought up Besides like three players on auction block for like I told you over 200k. So I was like, that is kind of crazy. So I was like, nah, I'm not going to be doing, if they're going to stay, I, I already knew they're going to lower because it's ridiculous, right? But just to let you guys know, you're going to need one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. You're going to need, I mean, you're not going to need, but you can use seven of these 89s in order to complete one of the 93 overall all Madden player sets. So there's going to be different ways to go about the 93 overall all, all, uh, all Madden players that they're going to be releasing. And I'm glad they did that. It did kind of push up these A9 overalls um, a, little bit, a little bit in price. But the only reason I'm not tripping is because if you do happen to collect all, all 10 of the 89 overalls, then what's going to happen is you're going to be able to get, a, uh, get the boost up to a 91 overall when it comes to these cards, right? You, you put the all Madden boost and they boost up to a 91 overall. So it's like, yeah, you gotta have all the players, but you'll have a 91 overall player, right? So they basically boosted up the odds when it comes to that. So what I would encourage you guys to do, right? If you guys do wanna uh, build an all Madden team, you could go ahead and start buying some of these players now because it could go either way tomorrow. Remember, there's gonna be re-rolls tomorrow. There's gonna be tons of re-rolls. So it kind of will put up the market when it comes to the training but not as bad as people think and the reason why is because a lot of people will be buying packs and you guys also do don't don't even know what's going to be in the pack yet because if ea says it's going to be an 88 overall all madden players when it comes to them putting them into the set then there's going to be a packs available for that so keep that in mind also right so it's not going to be as complicated as people think so in my opinion, what I'm going to do is I'm not going to buy these players right now. I'm going to buy them tomorrow when everything drops because I believe that these players will go down a lot more. And if they don't, at least they'll stay the same price and then I'll start building them. But in order to build, like I said, if you want to build a team smartly and effectively. So I'm looking at it. If there's 10 players, let's go ahead and uh, I'm sorry. Let's go. Uh, I did the wrong thing. Let's uh, oh, this is how I do it. Let's put A to Z so we can all line them up. So there it is there. One, two, three, four. There's five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. So there's ten, right? And they're going for 125k. Well, this what well, they're yeah, they're going for about 125k. Let's go ahead and uh put it back to buy now price. They're going for about 125k. Ten put times 125k. That's gonna be about I'll say about 1.3 million, maybe just to just to uh, um, to buy all of them and add them to your lineup, which is still a little bit pricey, not as bad, right? But I, what I will say is this: in order to do it, I would I would buy one by one. Like I said, I'm gonna wait till tomorrow, but I would start buying uh when, when it is time to start. I would buy start off with the players you're gonna you know need the most or want the most. Like say for instance, I want Randy Moss. Buy Randy Moss, add him to your lineup. Buy Bruce Matthews, add him to your lineup. Whatever the case may be, little by little, start adding him to your lineup. If you uh, if you if you do have the 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 million coins already, I know some of you guys are gonna end up automatically going for the 93 overalls. I wouldn't encourage that. I'm gonna be honest with you guys. If you want to build an all Madden team, 
Mind you, that's what I'm, I'm, I'm helping you guys prepare for. If you want to build an all Madden team, I will literally start with the 89s first, put them on the squad to make sure you you have that have that going on and then when it comes to the 93 overalls what i would do is i will start off with the ones of course the ones you want the most and little by little start buying them like i'm telling you i know these prices are going to go down in the another reason why because you got the thanksgiving promo you got blitz and you got christmas promo coming up right so mind you a lot of these players people are not going to be crazy about like that when it comes to um a lot of these a lot of these stats and a lot of these boosts right now is because it's new everybody's gonna want to do it there's not nothing there's not a lot going on in the game until these other programs drop so people are gonna go crazy spend a lot of coins and a lot of these players are gonna drop eventually so i would do it smartly like i said um tomorrow i will start off with the 90 uh, 89s and then honestly if the prices are ridiculous when it comes to the 93s i would wait a day Cause that's what i'm gonna do i'm gonna wait a day and see how the price go for 93 and then if i see that okay they're staying consistent at this price then i'll start buying the 93s at the prices that i want right off the top i'm gonna get michael parsons but i'm gonna wait a little bit until they actually lower so okay so once you once you buy all the players that you did like i said there's 10 they're gonna be 10 and 10 10 of the 89s and 10 of the 93s so that's 20 all together right so once you start buying the players um some of you guys already got the players right so what you're gonna do is um, say for instance, um, you don't let's go to let's go to defense. Say for instance, you don't need a, need, a, uh, need a middle linebacker. You're like, you know, I'm not tripping on that Sam Mills. He's kind of small, but you still need to buy him in order to get the Kim boost. What you're gonna do is you're gonna put Sam Mills as a backup, which I believe Sam Mills is probably a goon. Like I'm not gonna sit here and lie, and he's probably gonna be even more juiced up tomorrow. But let's say hypothetically, you don't you're not tripping on the on the middle linebacker. Once you do buy up buy him, which will probably be last because you're not really gonna use him like that. You're gonna add him as a backup. So that's how it's going to be. With some of these 89s, you, you're probably not going to have them as starters. Majority of them you will, some of them you won't. And if you don't have them as starters, you put them as your backup and then in order to get all the boosts, right? So I might, like I said, I might do the 89s. And especially if you guys, if I'm doing this video and I know you guys are going to want to know how to do it, most likely I'm going to do the 89 li lineup first. But like I said, I'm going to wait until I believe some of these prices drop because there's going to be training variety packs and everything. So I want to make sure that I make the right decision because if they go up, I'm going to take that chance. But I believe they're going to go down. So if I really believe that and I'm telling you guys that, I'm going to take the risk myself of them if they happen to do go up. I'm going to wait till tomorrow and be, uh to see if they go down because i believe they are and if they don't that's that's the risk i'm willing to take because this is what i'm telling you guys and sharing with you guys and if they do go down i'm going to be a lot happier i will buy all the 10 madden players i will add them to my lineup and i'll adjust my lineup accordingly because there's some players that i could get rid of like for instance tomorrow Dem demarcus lawrence is going to get a redux so his redux gets cheaper i'll quick sell that card buy his redux and then add him to the squad you know things like that so i'll adjust my lineup accordingly that's how i'm going to do it so i'm going to basically have a lot uh, a new lineup based on what they're going to give us and like i said i'm going to make sure that i do it right and make sure i build my team effectively but i'm making sure that i'm waiting to the players to drop tomorrow to see how much they're going to go down but if they don't then i'll buy them little by little one by one you know what's crazy was i was looking at them the other day when they're about 50k and i was like something was telling me because they're so cheap right and i was like ah man buy them because i just i don't know i, just, I don't know why i just was telling me to buy them i just seen how cheap they were and i was like nah i ain't tripping man it, it, they're gonna be useless there, there's no reason to see if, if 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 it was like it was before when you're able to power them up i would have bought them because usually they'll go, they'll go up in price um when when people used to power them up but they don't go they don't go up and they don't there's no reason to, um no one's there's no power up uh, i got a little tongue twister with there there's no there's no powering them up so it don't matter no more so i was like oh, whatever and then ea does this i was like man you're gonna tell me i could have had all of them for about like 300k all 10 of them or or we'll say 500k or whatever the case may be but anyways i really believe they're gonna drop like i said if, if you want to build it effectively i will start off with the 89s first because they're going to be cheaper build up that squad first buy them one by one if you have all the coins then buy them all at once but i will snipe them and wait till they drop in price like i said i'm gonna wait till tomorrow wait till they drop in price and start buying them up build that team first and then go look at the night threes and say who i want the night threes and start building them up when it comes to the night threes that's how i'm gonna do it i'm not gonna build an all madden 93 squad like I, I really don't care if i'm able to do it for cheap i will just to do it but for sure I'm going to end up doing the 89 overall uh, all Madden team, which are going to be boosted up to a 91 because I could do a lot with those players. So I definitely, I definitely will be doing that. 
and so i and when i do i will make a video on it and i will show you the squad and i'll let you guys know how i went about doing it because i'm already doing this video that's the first thing on my mind that i'm gonna do especially if the try price is dropping is to do the 89 overall lineup and boost it up to a 91 overall so my squad will be a lot better and then I'm gonna get the night threes. I, I'm gonna get Michael Parsons, and then I'm gonna see how it gonna go from there. If they, like I said, if they happen to be a lot cheaper, then I'll end up getting all of them and just having a goon squad like that, just, just, just to do it. You know, um, I don't, I don't, I don't encourage you guys. If you guys don't got the coins like that, there's no re reason to. That's why I'm telling you guys to do the 89s because anyone could build the 89 one, and they're gonna drop a lot more in prices. So don't even trip on that. Like I said, eventually you're gonna be able to have it. Buy one player now buy another player later some of you guys already have some of these players and start building them up little by little so anyways there it is there be smart about it tomorrow wait for the players to drop wait for the prices to drop a little bit more and i'll start off with the 89s first and then start building up the 93s and that's the way the best way you're going to be able to build a, a 93 overall i'm sorry uh, all madden team smartly um best the best way and smartly and effectively so drop a like on the video until next time you guys all have a nice day i'm out